Lowell Bailey, welcome to Biathlon World TV. Good to be here. Thirty-four-year-old Lowell Bailey from Lake Placid, New York, is a biathlete who balances his sports life with musical interludes while training and competing on the World Cup circuit. So what is that and how does it fit in your repertoire? Well, it's a rendition by Doc Watson, who's uh, one of my musical heroes, I guess. Uh, he was um, a blind, finger-picking guitarist that uh, sort of ushered in a different way to play guitar. So I started playing guitar pretty early on, probably seven or eight years old. I grew up with music. I grew up with a house that was full of music always. My father was a musician and um, so we had guitars lying around the house and a lot of the stuff that I play is influenced by him and he kind of incorporated jazz with um, blues and folk. Um, one of his songs that he wrote kind of starts like this. So he's got a lot of, a lot of uh, kind of jazz chords. Music is just people copying people. I mean, it's that's really all it is and it evolves it's it's constantly evolving so i grew up listening to artists like uh lowell george of little feet um, doc watson like i said david bromberg um, a lot of musicians that were kind of pushing the boundaries of acoustic music our the national team is based in my hometown of Lake Placid. And with music, it's, yeah, it's definitely allowed me to continue performing and playing in, um, you know, a few different local bands. I think my favorite music is actually when I get to play with other people. I think that's, there's an energy there that you don't get when you're just sitting by yourself playing. Um, I think I do a lot of that, but I, I really enjoy uh, playing with other people. Bluegrass, it's kind of, a, it's a different style. You have the flat pick and uh, so you'll have a more. It's fast, it's uh, kind of upbeat. But yeah, I, I would call bluegrass a pretty American genre. And so band number two, what do you play in band number two? We'll play like a, a rock song or a, or a soul. The thrill is gone. The thrill is gone away. The thrill is gone. Everything's gone away. Someday you'll be over it all, and all you do is look my way. It's, you know, it's tough. I mean, that's that's the cliche. It's tough to make it in in music. It's tough to make it in biathlon. So, um, I think you've got to. You've got to know your boundaries and know um, what your professional life is, which for me is biathlon, and, and what your, uh, you know, I guess, extracurricular activities, if you want to call it that. I saw that you've done a couple songs with your sister. What's the best one of those that you've done? She's a great singer, great guitar player. You know, without her here, it's tough to do. <laughs> it's tough to play. <laughs> Down, have it on your floor. Make 
Take me down, have it on your floor. Well, make me down, a pallet soft and low. When I'm broken, I got nowhere to go. There's a famous biathlon song that you wrote. Oh, God. <laughs> I can be totally honest that I haven't played this since it was written, which is probably five or six years ago. So. In the frozen ice of America, hid away in a northern town, lived a group of women and men, shooting fast, running fast, shooting targets down. Every day from dawn till dusk, you could see them fire their guns, skiing hard among the trees. I've been lucky enough to have some great experiences within biathlon with music um, in various different parts of the world. I feel, it, I guess, humbled that people would uh, enjoy what I have to what I have to give in terms of music. Do you still see that there's another podium, another great race out there? That's the, the great part of the sport is it's highly motivating. And, you know, if you put together a good race on a given day, you can be on the podium. And, um, and that's absolutely my, my goal going forward. And it requires an absolutely perfect day. So uh, that's what I strive for. And I hope that that'll happen. Well, please don't tell which train I'm on, they won't know which way I have gone.